Hello everyone, Daniel here today to make predictions, predictions, and, well, there's not that many matches to predict, so I'm not even going to mention the third predictions. <sighs> but anyways, if you don't know what I'm talking about already, I am talking about Pearl and a Shell! And making an explanation as to oh wait, I am uploading this, so I have no explanation to make. And for those of you that want to claim that I do not upload this, I got two words for you. Fuck you. Anyways, let's actually begin. Oh. Kelly Kelly versus Beth Phoenix. If Beth Phoenix doesn't win this match, oh, that just pretty much goes the whole angle right there. It's pathetic. It didn't start off pathetic. It just got pathetic. Ah, we kept having Kelly Kelly win. Bullshit. Anyways, next match. Not yet, actually. Um, I'm going to say Cody Rhodes, Ted DiBiase, just because I have a feeling that match is going to happen. Still not going to say DiBiase at this point. I still think Cody Rhodes is going to win this match. Or uh, unless DiBiase wins by disqualification. Which is possible. Get me wrong. But I'm sticking with Cody Rhodes to win this match. But I don't. Because after this feud is over, if DBRC is not the slightest bit relevant, can his ass! Next match! Before I get pissed off about that. Um. I love how DS is not better against in this world. Or at least the new world, anyway. Um, Dolph Ziggler, Zack Ryder. Maybe. If that match happens, I see Ziggler winning. I don't see any interference helping Zack Ryder win this one. I still say Dolph Ziggler. But that's only if that match happens. The other possible match is Air Broom versus Ziggler and Swagger. Before I even make predictions, what the fuck? This is like TNA swerve crap right here. Not no offense to see TNA. I actually really like TNA, but God, those swerves are more. Um. First they have the two feuding, and now they're pairing them together? Ugh. Anyways. Again, before I get mad. Um, I wrote it. Uh, I do not say Zigger and Swagger. I say Air Boom. A tag team I don't really like all that much, but... Yeah. Oh, I think we got for it now. I'll cope with it. Better than no tag team division at all. No, with WWE's terrible lackluster tag team division, it might as well be nothing whatsoever. Anyways, yeah, they win clean. When I say pinfall, I don't see them using a submission. Or maybe by count out. They might win by count out too. Um, my next prediction will be for, oh yes, the World Heavyweight Title Match. I said in my predict champion's prediction that Mark Henry was going to be a transitional champion. He's, I'm sticking with that prediction. He's sticking as a transitional champion. Randy Orton's winning this match. Cleanly to win that title back. Finally, 
the big daddy of them all, the big main event. Which isn't so big because it's actually kind of predictable in a way that before I actually make that guess on who's not going to win, I'm actually better say the match. John Cena, CM Punk, and Alberto Del Rio. Triple threat, WWE Championship, in a Hell in a Cell match. Simply put, CM Punk is not going to win this match. And I do not believe that Del Rio is going to win the title. Because the only man they ever seem to want to put the title on for more than one month is John Cena. And right now it's back down. What in the blue hell are they thinking? But yeah, Cena. I see interference from everyone that interfered in the fight for the champions match. They screw Punk. That's why I already said right off the bat, Punk's not winning this one. And after that, I think they'll both have Del Rio down. Cena will take advantage of that interference. Cena beats Punk. Pins them with one, two, three. Or maybe some of them via that STF. But one of the two. <laughs> I'll stick with the pinball crap. So, that's all, I think, for matches. Oh! Crap, there isn't. That's not all. I forgot the biggest match of them all! Sin Cara vs. Sin Cara. And for those of you that are confused, Mystico vs. Unico. AKA, the original Sin Cara vs. the imposter. I say the imposter wins it. Because they just give it to the original. How is this feud going to continue? They even plan on continuing this until WrestleMania due to Rey Mysterio being injured. As far as I know. So, in other words, Unico wins it. Also known as Imposter. Also known as the Sin Car number two. Also known as everything else he is. The Legacy Stealer. So, B. Er. Getting. Saying terrible words at school is terrible. So, anyways, I think that's all now. So. Bye bye. Peace out for now. And ta ta. See you in the next part of my game. I'll be continuing uploading. Well, not uploading. Recording. Tonight.